just to show you some dates where Power Query gets it right. And please note, it's very important to realize that this is computer dependent. Just because these examples work on my computer, it depends a lot on regional settings and things like that. So dates are something that you have to be very careful of, especially when working on different computers. So here we have some dates. You'll see for my computer these are a bit strange because mine should go day, month, year, but they're actually going month, day, year. So let's get them into Power Query. So you'll see if Power Query has noticed that it might be a date, it will then convert and you'll notice that here the type is immediately set to date. So the steps it follows, it got the information in, immediately it changed the type and as you can see it seems to have noticed that these are dates and more importantly because my computer likes to go in the day month year format or in this case year month day it took this date converted it and made it what is acceptable to my computer but it was clever enough to notice that it's impossible to have a a 14th month so therefore that must be the day that must be the month that must be the year I'm just going to close this and discard it now we're going to do the same thing so here you'll see it's now the other way around so we're going to go to data from table arrange and again even though it's in a different order it's been clever enough to notice the dates it seems to have got it correct and it automatically formatted it as a date so where it gets it right what you should look out for is has it changed the data type straight to a date and then just look at some of them and just make sure that it's not switching the years and the months